Hey Internet, my name is Zebi and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program on Wings. We are still in an orbit around Tylo and our biggest concern is currently the amount of fuel left in our driving section because we are down to 224 units of liquid fuel and well this is really problematic and my idea now is to bring this thing down to Lays to refuel it at the Jewel Supply mission and well let us see, um, we need to perform maybe a burn around here, let me see. And then I should set Lace as my target, where is my maneuver? Okay, let's continue, let's start the burn. And... Okay. So, um, there would be a wall periapsis. No, 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 no. I do not want to go to wall. I want to do something like this, but a little bit more efficient. So, this is looking quite good. There we would have. Let me just see. There we would have. Wait, I just saw something. Get moves this around. There is an encounter with lace possible. This would be great. Lace periapsis 643 kilometers. This sounds really amazing. This sounds just amazing. So, um, what the burn would come up in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, I think we should perform this burn right now so that we are able to have a lace encounter in. Um, 11 hours and 13 minutes, this is cool, and then we need to change a little bit the trajectory in order to get closer to the atmosphere, but this is at first a good idea. Okay, um, how long will this burn take? I think I can wait for maybe one minute, so I can now see, um, focus view on lace. I like to, what do I like to do, maybe change a bit the inclination. Is this possible? Not so much. But, oh, this is a little bit too deep inside lace. This is not good. This is more than an arrow braking maneuver. 92 kilometers. Let's get a little bit closer. 18 kilometers. 19. 20. 50. Okay. 49, 17, 17 kilometer sounds at first very good. Okay, uh, 817 meters per second burn, and I think I will do it in 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and ignition. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, it's a one and a half minute burn. So, let's keep fingers crossed that we do have enough liquid fuel to finish this burn, to get down to Lace, and down there we can get captured by Lace Atmosphere, so that we are able to refuel at the fuel supply mission. And well, this would be really cool. And yeah, the fuel is going down, the fuel is going down. This is exciting, this is really exciting. Maybe I should even throttle down a bit. So that I am arriving more or less spot on. Okay, this is this is looking good right now with my maneuver node. So I like to do it that well. I split the burn in half, so half of the burn before the maneuver node and half of the burn after the maneuver node. And now it's looking really good. And well, the orange fuel tank is almost depleted. This is interesting, but luckily we do have some fuel in the outer fuel tanks and I think these fuel uh, drops of fuel are really helpful to arrive down there at least. Okay, and down there is our landing site. A few hours ago we were down there on the surface of Tylo and now we are already leaving the sphere of influence of Tylo again and we are performing our burn exactly above this. This is cool. This is really cool. Okay, 
we finished the burn exactly at the moment as we are passing over our first landing site. This is cool. Let's see it from Sidrim perspective. Okay, um, so I need to see something. Currently my lace periapsis is at 280 kilometers, but I think I can change this once I'm in an orbit around Joule. So let me just set up a maneuver node over here so that we can see how we are uh, flying away from Joule. Uh, not Joule, uh, why I'm saying all the time Joule, from Tylo. And here, goodbye Tylo. Over there are huge craters. Over there is our landing spot. This is cool. This is really cool. And we do have 98 units of liquid fuel left. This is good. Okay, we can now speed up a little bit more our time warp. Goodbye, Tylo. It was nice to visit you. It was nice to land on you. You were a nice challenge. But unfortunately, we now need to leave because I need some fuel. Uh, let me just get closer and focus on my spacecraft. 19 minutes to go. Okay, 18. 13, 11, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, now it's problematic. What? Tylo escape. Okay, somehow the orbital map is now going crazy again and is pointing me in a completely different way and is showing me a completely wrong trajectory. But I hope uh, in a few seconds we will be leaving the sphere of influence of Tylo so that we can start thinking about our uh, trajectory change so that we can arrive down there at Lays. And I think we are already facing at Lays. No, Lays is over there. This is Wall. This is Lays. So we do have already a visual on Lays. And huh, Sidrim is a little bit scared, but I think from Sidrim's point of view, we should be able to see Lays. Let me just see. Yes, we do have a visual from Sidrim's point of view to Lays. This is cool. This is really cool. Okay, and we are still inside the sphere of influence of Tylo. This is strange. This is really strange. Okay, now, now we are in an orbit around Jewel, and in 7 hours we will be arriving at Lace. So now I need to do some small correction burns in 10 minutes. Where is Lace? Let me again focus view on Lace. Okay, I like to... Let me just see... What do I need to do in order to get down there? Okay. No, no, no. This is looking much better. Okay, now we are crashing into lace. This is not good. And 30 kilometers. This sounds pretty good. 27. Sounds much better. 27, 22, no, 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 23, 27, okay, let's go for 27, and it's just a uh, 8.6 meters per second burn, so this should be no problem at all with the fuel we have still left in our fuel tanks. Okay, let's turn toward the maneuver node. Okay, this is good. Now, let me get a little bit closer to the maneuver node. There's already Lace, and uh, this, will, this is an exciting mission with no fuel left. Okay, and cut the engine. So, what are we doing? We are down to 23 kilometers. This is a little bit too low, I guess. So let me just use RCS to gently boost a little bit. Okay, this was 20, 27 kilometers. I think this is good. This is a good altitude. Okay, so now let me get 
over to Albatross and we will be arriving there in 7 hours and 26 minutes, so let me set a maneuver node over there. And let's speed up and let's observe Lays as we are getting closer to this moon. Or as this moon is also getting closer to us. This is cool. Okay, getting closer. Only a few, half an hour, only 20 minutes. We speed up a bit, okay. Are we then orbiting around the right way? I hope so. Okay, um, three, two, one. Just a few seconds, very good, very good. Okay, we are now arriving at Lays. Okay, we are now in the sphere of influence of Lace and... Uh, yes, we are then orbiting the right way around and the periapsis is still at 27 kilometers. This is good, this is really good. Okay, now we can speed up again to get closer to our encounter, or not our encounter, but our aero capture maneuver. It's also a nice constellation to see Lace in front of Jewel. This is really cool. This is really cool. Okay. So, let me point maybe this way. I think the more heavy part is in front of my spacecraft. Okay, now I should retract my solar panels because I do not want that they will get ripped apart by the drag of the atmosphere. Okay, retracting the panels. And this is a beautiful view over the islands of Lace. And we are even coming across the first landing site. This is cool. Unfortunately it's in the darkness, but we are definitely coming across the first landing site. This is also nice. Okay, let's speed up a little bit. To get closer down, there is a uh, marker. Down there is our very first landing site on Lays. This was also a nice adventure. This is cool. Okay, we are now dropping down, and we should enter the atmosphere pretty soon as we are flying across the flag. Sidrum is enjoying this. Sidrum is really enjoying this. He seems to be happy all the time, this is good. How much fuel is left? 97 units of liquid fuel still left in our fuel tanks, this is good. And we will need some of the fuel on the one hand to raise our periapsis and on the other hand to change a little bit our inclination so that we are in the same orbital plane as our dual supply mission because, well, this would make it a little bit easier to rendezvous with us and to start the refueling process of our spacecraft, because later on we need also to have a rendezvous with the Bob Expedition, and the Bob Expedition has already done the inclination change. So, um, yeah, this is really helpful if I would be able to change also the inclination of um, our Tylo mission. Okay, now we do have some re-entry effects. This is quite uh, beautiful because we are now in the dark side of Lace, in the nighttime of side of Lace, and we are now losing some velocity. This is good. The Lace escape is increasing. This is also a good sign for us. And wow, well, look at this green ball. Look at the huge green ball of Jewel. This thing is just amazing, this, this gas planet. Okay, the re-entry effects have stopped. Are we captured? Not yet, not yet. We are still on an escape trajectory. But we are also still in the we are in the atmosphere of Lace. So maybe we get captured. Otherwise we need to do a short burn in order to reduce a little bit our epilepsis. Or to get captured finally. And still not captured. We are almost out of the atmosphere.
Parent. Okay, we are now out of the atmosphere, but unfortunately we are not captured. So let me turn the whole spacecraft around. Like this. Okay, very good. Now let's perform a short burn. And we are in an orbit around Lace. Well done, well done, Sidrim. Good job, let me reduce a little bit more of the apoapsis. Okay, maybe to 2500 kilometers. And come to a stop right now. Well done, well done. Okay. The next thing is uh, jewel supply. Set as target. Oh, this is helpful. The descending node is out there, so it should be quite efficient to do the inclination change out there. But at first I like to do a short burn, 59 kilometers, to raise my periapsis to about 100 kilometers. Okay. Coming up in 1 hour and 25 minutes. And let us now coast a little bit around and now we are in the sunlight again. Now we can deploy our solar panels to recharge our batteries. Let me do this right away. And okay. Solar panels are deployed. Now we can speed up in time to fly out to our apoapsis in order to do the burn to raise our periapsis so that we are not flying again through the atmosphere and losing some more momentum. This would be bad. Okay, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do the burn. Okay. This is fairly easy. And stop right now. Okay, periapsis 100 kilometers. This is good. Now, descending node. Let's change it a little bit. 0 0.6. 0 0.0. Only 79.3 meters per second. This should be no problem. 80, 87 units of liquid fuel. No, this should be no problem at all. This is good. This is really good. Now, let me turn this thing again to the maneuver node. Okay, let's speed up. Okay, we are almost there. Very nice, very nice. 50 seconds. I think I can get a little bit closer. Okay, right now, let's do the burn. Very good. And stop. So, um... Wow, we are, we are quite close at this point. But I don't think that this would be really efficient, because then we would need to change somehow the trajectory this way around, and I think this is quite inefficient to try it this way. At least we are getting quite close, but I don't think... Where is my jewel supply mission? Is over here. No, this would be really chaotic. Um, no, I don't think we can perform something like this. I think I will do this later on. At first I will go down to the periapsis and I like to reduce a little bit more my orbit. So, that's a, so that it's a little bit easier to prepare a rendezvous because later on we need even to rendezvous with a Bob expedition. So a more or less circularized orbit would be quite helpful. And we can use the last drops of our liquid fuel to do something like this. Okay, let me right now get closer to my periapsis. 
earned. We are almost there. We can enjoy the sunset pretty soon. This is always interesting. Okay, let's get a little bit closer and now let's enjoy how the sun is getting behind the horizon of Lais. This was beautiful again. Okay, let's get a little bit closer to the maneuver node. And now it's time to perform the burn. Full throttle. Fuel. Could be enough. This is interesting. This is really interesting. And I haven't anticipated that I would be so low on my fuel with the interplanetary stage for my Tyler mission. I saw it well, which might be close, but I haven't anticipated that I would really run out of fuel. This is this is totally a surprise. Okay, let's see. And stop it right now. Okay, we even have some uh, drops of fuel left. This is good. Okay, I think we could try this with this maneuver. Now, I like to start to switch to my jewel supply mission. I hope there are some fuel left. 800 units of liquid fuel. Well, this is not bad. This is not bad. Okay. Okay, so many spacecraft around Lace. This is crazy. Um, Albatross. Set as a target. Okay, um... At first, let me just see... When I do at the... Epilepsis a burn to raise a little bit... The periapsis. Well, at this point... Over there we would be pretty close. Separation of 2.1 kilometers. But... Then at this point I would need... What do I need to do? If I like to reduce my orbit... More or less. This would be a burn of 460 meters per second. Well, I could try this. It would be an idea, but I'm not quite sure. At some point I need to reduce the epilepsis anyway. Well, let's, let's try this. Let's try this. This might be an idea. This might be already an idea. Okay, and the thing... Well, I'm not quite sure how efficient the thing is. We will see, we will see. It has even some RCS. Maybe, uh, how much RCS is left? Um, a lot of RCS. Well, let's find out if we even can perform these some parts of the burn with RCS. This would be quite useful. Okay. Four, three, two. Okay, let's come to a stop here. RCS and... Huh, this is really taking some time and... No, I don't think that this is the right way. Let's do it with the main engine. So, full thrust. And... Stop. Let's get a little bit closer. Okay. Wow, this was a spot-on burn. Now, 4.7 kilometers. Let me... 1 hour and 33 minutes. 1 hour and 32 minutes. Let me set a maneuver over there. Okay, I I am sure this will be a quite large burn. But yeah, let's see. Let's see what we can do when we are getting closer to this. Let me get closer to this point. 20 minutes, 18 minutes, 15, 14, 12, 11, 9, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, um, can I switch to target? Orbit surface, no target? Why no target? Um, Albatross, set as target, okay. Target. 729 meters per second. And decreasing, this is good. Okay, I think, how far are we away? Two and a half minutes. Let me get a little bit closer to this. One and a half minute. Okay. 
Let's try this, let's try this, let's do full throttle. Maybe this is... I'm not quite sure. Uh, at some point I need to, to reduce my apoapsis, this is for sure. And maybe when I'm doing this right now, this is this is quite close to the apoapsis, not really at the apoapsis, but well, maybe this is working out. Maybe this is working out and this is an, an efficient way to do this. This would be really great. And then I need to think, would I be able to use with our last drops of monopropellant, would I be able to reduce my trajectory so that I would enter the atmosphere and so that I can get rid of the space debris problem? This would be also quite cool. But at first we need to arrive at our Tylo mission. Okay, we are 36 kilometers away. And we still to have a quite first relative velocity. But we are reducing it. This is good. This is really good. Now we do have the indication directly on our screen of the distance. This is useful. This seems to be working well. I'm impressed by this. This is cool. I'm really impressed. This is cool. Okay, only 20 kilometers. This is really amazing. Okay, 17 kilometers and 250 meters per second relative velocity. Fifteen kilometers and two hundred meters per second relative velocity. We're looking good. Nice approach. Nice approach. Okay. One hundred meters per second and eleven kilometers. Let's come to a stop right now. So that we can drift a little bit closer. Okay, now I can continue my burn. I'd like now to reduce the relative velocity to 50 kilometers, uh, 50 meters per second. Okay, now we can get a little bit closer again. Looking good, looking good. Okay, 2.6 kilometers. I can reduce the uh, relative velocity even more, maybe to 20 meters per second. Like this. Okay, now we can get a little bit closer again. Okay, only 1000 meters away. This is great. And an approach velocity of 10 meters per second. Very nice, very nice. And we are delivering more than 700 units of liquid fuel. This is cool. This is a nice amount. This is really great. Okay. Only 600 meters away and getting closer. This is really good. 500 meters. Okay, the docking port I like to dock to is on this side of the Albatross spacecraft. 400 meters. 300 meters, getting closer, everything looks okay. 250 meters, 200 meters, 150, okay, now I should start reducing my relative velocity and come to a stop. 
Okay, looking good, looking good. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And stop. Okay, well done, well done. Now, let me switch over to docking mode. Now we can use... some RCS... to get closer. Okay, it's currently hard to see because of the sun. Can I... where is the docking port? Clampotron docking port. Set it as a target. Okay, we now have the docking port as our target. This is good. This is really good. Okay. Now we are drifting a little bit past it. And then we can start to align our docking port with the docking port of the other spacecraft. Okay. So far, so good. Now let's come to a stop right now. And let's aim this way. Like... Maybe this, okay. Very nice, very nice. This is really working so well. I'm totally impressed. I'm so impressed that this thing is working so well that it's so easy to refuel my spacecraft. I'm I'm so glad that everything is working this way. Wow, this is cool. This is really cool. Okay. So we are almost there. Now let's come again to a stop. And let's close in the last few meters. Let me switch off all the control surfaces and interfaces. And Okay, we have contact to the dual supply mission, and we are docked to it. We are docked to it. Well done, well done. Look at this, look at this. We made it, we made it. We are rescued. This is amazing, this is really amazing. Okay, well done, well done. Now we can, at first, bring over all the fuel. Okay, very good, very good. And now the next task is to somehow rendezvous with the Bob Expedition. I think this will be also a challenge, but we will do this in the next episode. In this case, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this idea, even though this was a lot of uh, shifting around with maneuver nodes and doing some rendezvous and so on. But it was pretty interesting to be able to get down here with the last drops of fuel and to be able to refuel the whole spacecraft. And with this, um, yeah, next time we will do some more things, like maybe a flight over to Wall. And yeah, in this case, until next time, my name is Abby. See you!